Hello everyone and welcome to part 4 in my video series detailing my uh, home build in the Minecraft SMP server run by a friend of mine. Um, and uh, yeah, so here we are. A lot has changed. Boy, has a lot changed. I'm going to try and give you a, as brief a visit around the building as possible, but I really want to show off some of the elements that I've added. Uh, I've started down in the train station because, honestly, the train station is the only part of the land you're going to recognize. <laughs> and uh, I didn't want people to like, where did this build come from, you know? So, um, this has definitely been, it's been a while. It's been a while since I was last making a video. In fact, I made a video uh, the weekend following Thanksgiving, actually. And uh, it's, it's the middle of January now. <laughs> and, uh, um, a lot's gone on. But, um, all right, well, let's see here. First off, uh, the, the entire station, you won't even notice this, but the entire station has been moved two blocks forward. Uh, this was a huge project uh, between me and my friend Cheesius, who came over and helped me move the, the train station two blocks over. He's such a trooper, but he really didn't want to do anything like using MC Edit uh, to move the, you know, to cheat and move the sta station over. So we actually had to go through and manually do that. We filled the uh, extra blocks of of stuff behind here with cobblestone, so there's no pockets for zombies to live in. There is, however, a pocket under here, but I'll explain that in a minute. As you can see, I did convert the train station uh, interchange doohickey there to stone brick. I think it works really well. I'm a little concerned that the button is a little too easy to not see, but whatever. Um, can't remember exactly what you've seen and what you haven't. Um, Obviously, this train station works by uh, grabbing a minecart out of the chest here, putting it there, sitting in the minecart, pressing the button. Power goes to this, and off you go. Um, before, last time you were here, uh, last time I was here showing you this, uh, these chests weren't lined up quite like this. I found some cool new features in um, 1.0 and 1.1, but in 1.0 in particular, uh, apparently, there, if you put a half slab on top of a chest, the chest can still open it. So that's, that's pretty exciting. Um, so I made a little locker arrangement here for my, you know, if I come down here with a full inventory and want to leave and go to the station where I might have to die back home, uh, I can put my stuff here and it'll still be here when I get back. Alright, so let's go upstairs and I'll show you what all's changed. Um, apparently it's raining. I'm going to uh, deal with that here. And just like magic, the rain has stopped. Yeah, I did a little edit there. Okay. Anyway, as you can see, the zombies burning majestically in the distance. Um, I've added a window here. And uh, there's there's going to be a lot that's new, so I'm going to try and deal with it all. Um, this is a little uh, entryway, and I've sort of neatened up a little bit. Uh, as you can see, I still have the one-way door here to keep the villagers and other riffraff from entering the train station and eventually getting out. This is the interior of the house, and as you can see there are now some windows and, uh, I don't know what you call these, alcoves with little porches in them, and obviously now there's a ceiling and a lot of villagers. This is eventually going to be the kitchen here, uh, it's got some lighting, and uh, I'm on 50% brightness for the purposes of the video, but this does seem to be enough light to ward away most monsters from spawning. My kitchen is not finished, but I have started storing food in here, as you can see those are mushrooms. And over here is some various meat and dog food. The dogs will eat rotten meat and bring their health back, so finally there's a use for rotten meat. And that's great. Excuse me. I've added little cells, little um, rooms with a bed and a chest, and a torch and a painting and a window. These, these are unnecessary and shouldn't have been there. Okay. Uh, don't need them anymore. This is from when I added this room on. This used to be a wall. Well, I guess it still is a wall, but it used to be that wall. <laughs> so, um, anyway, all these rooms are the same. Uh, the only difference being the painting, which I think is kind of cool. And uh, it's sort of symbolic of the rooms for the villagers to sleep in, but of course, the villagers won't sleep in the rooms. But visitors can, 
and uh, having the chests and the beds is handy, so someone who comes here with a bunch of stuff and decides that they're not going to leave it in the train station, but they want to sit it down somewhere where they'll remember it, you know, they can put it here too, and that's cool. Uh, I'm all about offering services to my friends who come visit. Appointments. Um, in here, this is uh, another gated door, as you can see here. The door won't allow villagers to come out. Um, this room is sort of an uh, entryway. I haven't really decided exactly what I'm going to do with it yet. Uh, this was going to be a fireplace, uh, but for... well... But I needed a staircase back there, and I kind of like it the way it looks there. Even though it's showing the staircase through there, and you can't really get in there. So, I don't know. I might still put a fire in there. To put a fire in a house, um, you use a minecart, of all things. You set a minecart on fire and let it live in there, and it, the fire won't spread to other stuff. So you can sort of like dig a hole here and put a track in there that runs from out here. They have to have a minecart run through some fire, and go, you know, fire in your fireplace. Kind of cool. Um, let's see, outside. Outside has changed a lot, too. Um, as you can see, lots has changed outside. Uh, for one, obviously, uh, I've cleaned up the, um, the airlock system here. We've got a, a two-way door that won't let anything in, won't let anything out but it makes it very easy to travel through once you've opened one door. And, uh, yeah, it looks like we're getting a little bit of lag, probably from the video recording here. I'll take this around back. As you can see, there's lots of... lots of these animals everywhere, and a million eggs. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, back here, I opened up the wall a bit and added up some fenced areas for farms for the, uh, pigs and cows sort of policy that if the pig or cow escapes from the, from the pen, I will murder them. So that's a, that's a disincentive for them to do that. Obviously, it's not working very well, but, you know, whatever. Um, I've, I've built these little airlocks here. They're really cool because you can use them just like that to keep the animals from escaping. It's great. Uh, obviously, uh, we're running 1.1 right now. The sheep are eating grass and regrowing their wool very quickly. Um, back here, these chests are still temporary. I we moved my chests over from the previous server, and they were full of various building materials like, well, stone brick. <laughs> that was part of the reason why, why I decided I finally wanted to do it. It's because I really was getting tired of making stone brick. So. I had like seven chests full of stuff in the previous server, so I was like, why don't we just import that? So we did. It's standard thing we've done, bring our stuff along. So, yeah, not exactly legit, I understand. Oh well. Um, <laughs> uh, these are full of eggs. I mean, when I say they're full of eggs, I mean they're full of eggs. This one's not quite full, but it will be very soon. Um, I have no idea what I'm going to do with that many eggs. Make a lot of cakes, I guess. Um, around back here, we have a ladder. That uh, This is a 1.1 ladder. And originally, this ran up here. But the ceiling is pretty much covered in half blocks. And uh, I couldn't climb up the ladder, so I moved it over to the side there. Um, here's the unfinished tower. I haven't quite decided what I'm going to do on the roof. I'm thinking about making a little building out in this area. Not sure. Um, there's really no safe way to get down from here except from the ladder, so I'm going to take that ladder back down. And then I'll put us in the back here to that second door. That's it. We go over in here. This is a temporary door. Um, you can see that we are back, back in the house here. And this goes down to basement storage. Had a lot of fun creating this here. This is my storage room, and it's awesome. It's huge, and if I ever fill it up, I'm never going to be able to find anything. <laughs> um, so far, I have way more signs than I need, and yes, I could go for high if I want to, finally. Um, 
But yeah, so far this is what's going on here. Let's take a look at the outside wall. I have made a few minor changes out there. Let's go over here. And, uh, oh, let's deal with this room. This room is the library. And as you can see, there are some books here. And there's a rather conspicuous lever here. Which, if we pull it, we get a stairway. A stairway that leads down into the depths where my enchanting room lives. And my enchanting room is really cool. I'm very happy with it. Because it looks really awesome this way. It looks really awesome this way. And it looks really awesome this way. And of course, it affects by bringing bookcases up and down. You affect how many potions, or not potions, but enchantments you can apply. Keep enchanting and potions. I thought about putting potion stuff in these little light alcoves. And I might, but uh, right now, if I ever get to that, it'll be in the kitchen for now. Um, I made use of a lot of stone that we liberated from some uh, strongholds in the previous server. And, uh, my friend Cheesius and I came, he came over. And, we started just dismantling the place, <laughs> taking every stone that wasn't a spawner. Um, up here we have the the tower. Um, as you can see, it's still not finished up here. I just put some torches on here to keep mobs from spawning. It looks like it's about to become nighttime. Great time for an edit. If we go outside, you can see again sheep are decimating the land. That's. I think I'm just gonna have to live with that for now. Outside here, we've got pretty much the same land that was here before. Um, I remember this, this little lake where the reeds were growing and all that. And uh, I had to do some more terraforming to make room for this wall to jut out here. Um, that was fun. I used a lot of TNT for that. It was really the first time I had ever used TNT um, outside of creative mode. If we go over here, I'm not sure if I've shown this off before, but up in the woods here you can see the train tracks, and uh, they go off into the sky, and eventually go off there. But we found this cool little um, cove, this alcove might even be the right word here, a little cove, a naturally occurring cove, a little flat wall, and we built the, uh, the train station right into it, so that's again just to keep mobs from spawning, I need to put torches along the top of that, but to keep them from getting in through the back door and filling up my train station with creepers. But yeah, for now, that's that's what we got going on. I think, I think it's coming along really nicely. I added these cool um, little pillar bridge kind of action there, and I put torches between them because they really do create some really shadowy spots, and I didn't want I didn't want to deal with a bunch of spawning mobs, enemy mobs there. This, I'm not too super pleased with the way it looks. I may have to do some some more modifications here, but I'm, I'm very happy with the way this is going so far. Don't have a lot of pigs or a lot of cows. I try to keep their numbers pretty low, like four or eight, uh, because frankly they get to be really annoying when there's lots of them, as you can tell, I'm sure. In the meantime, that's pretty much all that I've got to show off. Uh, hopefully next time I'll have more interesting things to show people. Um, maybe I'll do a little bit of Let's Play action instead of just the tour. Uh, once I get a project going that I'm going to enjoy. Uh, <laughs> uh, but for now, uh, that's the end of this video, so see you next time.